Hi everyone, my name is Xavier, and in this video we'll be taking a look at the adapter pattern. This pattern allows you to make different classes with different interfaces to work together without changing their source code. You can compare it to adapters in real life. Say you're traveling from the United States to Europe. If you want to charge your devices, you will need an adapter to convert the European wall outlet to a US one. In this case, the adapter should implement the European plug and expose a US plug for you to use. So let's take a look at how you can implement that in TypeScript. Okay, so here I am in Visual Studio Code and I've already created two classes to show you how the adapter pattern works. I've created an iPhone 7 class and a Google Pixel class. Now, the iPhone uses a lightning port to charge while the Google Pixel uses micro USB. So say we want to charge our iPhone with a micro USB cable, then we need an adapter to change the port to lightning. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create two interfaces for each of these devices. So I'm gonna make an interface for iPhone and I'm gonna make an interface for Android devices. And both of these interfaces will receive a method that is tied to their port. So for Android, that will be the method use micro USB. And for the iPhone, we will add a method use lightning. And of course, the iPhone implements the iPhone interface and the Google Pixel implements the Android interface. Okay, so far so good. So now we're going to define the adapter. So I'm gonna create a new class and I'm gonna call this class lightning to micro USB adapter. And I'm gonna say that this implements the Android interface. So if I wanna make the iPhone compatible with micro USB, then I have to make an adapter that implements micro USB, but internally can convert it to lightning. So, the first thing that we need to do is we need to implement the missing elements from Android. We're gonna do that right now. There we go. So we get a method use micro USB. Now before I implement this, we also need a device. And so in this case, we want to make our iPhone compatible with micro USB. So I'm gonna keep track of an iPhone device. And we're gonna receive that iPhone device through our constructor. So our constructor will receive an iPhone, which is of type iPhone. And we'll just keep a track of it. So we'll say that this iPhone device equals the iPhone that we got in the constructor. Okay, so through this adapter, we can now use the micro USB function, but we need to convert it still. We need to map it to something that the iPhone understands. So I'm gonna say, first we're gonna write something to the console. So we're gonna say, want to use micro USB, converting to lightning. Okay, and then we're gonna say this dot iPhone device use lightning. So even though the iPhone is not compatible with micro USB, it only has use lightning, we can make it compatible with this adapter. This adapter will implement the micro USB function and internally translate it to something that the iPhone can understand. Now this example is really simple. We just call another method but in a more complex code base, it could just as well be that you need to convert some arguments and do more complex setup work. So how do you use this interface? Well, I'm gonna create an instance of the iPhone 7 here. So I'm gonna say is new iPhone 7. And if I wanna charge it with micro USB, I'm also gonna create a charge adapter which is of course a new lightning to micro USB adapter and I'm gonna give it my iPhone in its constructor. And now we can ask the charge adapter to use micro USB. So let's take a look at what happens when I run this. So I'm gonna open up the terminal here and I'm gonna run the TypeScript compiler on adapter and simultaneously I'm gonna run it in Node.js. Let's see what happens. Okay, so notice that it says, okay, we want to use micro USB, but we need to convert it to lightning because that's what our iPhone uses. And then our iPhone says, hey, I'm using the lightning port. So what's great about the adapter pattern is that I don't need to change the iPhone class to be compatible with micro USB. 
I only create a new class, an adapter class, that handles all the translations. So in this case, the adapter class handles translating the micro USB code into Lightning. And so again, in a real code base, this can be much more complex. You might need to change the order of the arguments, or you might need to convert them to other types, or you might need to use many classes to accomplish something like this. I hope this simple example illustrates how you can use the adapter pattern in TypeScript. If you want to learn more design patterns in TypeScript, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one.